How do they guys? Welcome back to Edgar TV. We're out on the road. Road. We're out on the road again, which means we've got to be quite flexible with the setup. So today I'm even got to hold the microphone. But what we're going to be talking about today is Gerwin Price. And I feel this is a really important topic to talk about. Now, the reason being so Gerwin Price at the end of the Premier League campaign just a day ago did put out on his Instagram this post of which he says he hasn't been enjoying the Premier League. And also that little hashtag at the end just gets you thinking that maybe Gerwin Price is going to be one of those players that doesn't play the Premier League moving forward. It is a big commitment to play the Premier League 16 weeks every single week including media so you've got two days in the middle of the week so it's guaranteed to be Wednesday Thursday that will lag into Friday because it's a late finish on the Thursday then you've also got all the pro tours and the ranking events which Gerwin Price does allude to in this message he also said at the start of the year that he's going to try and prioritize the ranking events as much as possible because that's the most important thing he said this on a podcast I was doing with Emma Patton and Abby Davies down at Sky Sports now when we look at this, is this a knee-jerk reaction? We've seen these before from Gerwin Price where he's threatened to potentially not play the World Championships. Is this a knee-jerk reaction to what has been a disappointing campaign for Gerwin Price? Or is this Gerwin Price becoming very well aware now of a bit of a problem with the Premier League? There's clearly something he doesn't like about the format. And before everyone says in the comments, which I'm sure is the go-to on this sort of thing, but the money that is available in the Premier League is something he's not going to turn down. Now, the thing to remember Gerwin Price, first of all, this is ranking, uh, non-ranking event, so it doesn't affect his ranking and the other thing is Gerwin Price has other interests and other businesses where yes the money is nice but I don't think the money would be the biggest priority for Gerwin Price let's take a look now at Gerwin Price's time in the Premier League so he first debuted you'll see there in 2018 finishing 10th 5th 5th withdrew during Covid 2021 7th final 7th so out of all the appearances Gerwin Price has had in the Premier League, he has only qualified for finals night on one occasion. I had to double check that and double take that because I was very surprised. Because you'd think a player like Gerwin Price would be making the finals almost every year, but he's only ever done it once. So maybe this isn't as knee-jerk reaction as we think. Maybe Gerwin Price genuinely doesn't like the format or doesn't like playing in the Premier League because he's had very little success so far in regards to the Premier League. Now... Would Gerwin Price even be in the Premier League? Now, first of all, he would be. He's one of the most recognisable faces. But he wouldn't be in there as a guarantee when we take a look at the world rankings. So you'll see at the moment, Gerwin Price currently sat in sixth place, just recently dropped down at the expense of Rob Cross. Now, Gerwin Price needs to be in the top four. The top four players in the world are the players that will be guaranteed to be in the Premier League, which means Gerwin Price is going to need to win a big event. But we know the PDC works on a two-year rolling system, so this is Gerwin Price's players card and during this year Gerwin Price will be defending £252,000, 41.6% of his prize fund. That is quite a sizable amount when the world match play comes around. He's got £100,000 to defend at the world match play. The Grand Slam of Darts is an event he's currently not in and there's £25,000 on the line there, 50000 at the world. So he's going to need some big runs along the way in some of these events 40 at the Grand Prix that's quite a lot as well now when we look at the world match play and we look at Gerwin Price defending 100,000 if he didn't to defend if he's not to reach the final let's say he only reaches the quarter finals which is still quite a decent run he's going to lose around about 70,000 pounds off of there which could start to see people like Dave Chisnell who's hitting some form Damon Hetter who's not really defending anything players behind him start to jump in where Gerwin Price could drop down to seven eight nine which moves him further and further away from those guaranteed top four positions but it's not just about those top four positions we know there's invitations we know Gerwin Price would be likely to get an invitation but the question now goes would Gerwin Price accept that invitation based on the fact that he's got these other business interests and he doesn't seem to enjoy it I mean the other factor as well to this is the fact of the crowds we've seen reactions from him throughout the week where he hasn't enjoyed certain crowds. We know the crowd gets on his back. We know sometimes it bothers him a lot more uh, than others. So maybe the, the hassle of that as well, and like the, the, the mental or the personal side effects that maybe he's felt from weeks and weeks of booing and jeering, maybe he's just 
fed up of that as well and doesn't want to complete with that. So what do you think is uh, what I'm kind of posing? Do you think Gerwin Price would refuse a place in the Premier League? We've seen players before come out and say they wouldn't play in it. Rob Cross a year ago said, I wouldn't want to play in the Premier League this year. I'd like to have that year away from it. We saw it benefit James Wade when he had a year off. Gary Anderson has openly said he wouldn't want to play in the Premier League. So it's not the be-all and end-all. It's great money, it's great exposure, it's great for the sponsors, it's great for the publicity, but for a player like Gerwin Price, I think he could pass on a year. And do you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if he's not in it next year. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV.